And so um, there are these verses in the Old Testament, and then and then there's there's a couple in the Old Testament, and then there's um, one in in this book of Romans, um, and then where it's talking about um, women exchanging nat natural relations with, for unnatural, and men exchanging natural relations for unnatural, mm -hmm. and then there's this. Ver there's this one word that shows up in Corinthians and it shows up in Timothy and it has traditionally, you know, the, the Bible was originally, originally written in Hebrew and Greek. And so, um, ancient, um, yeah. Hebrew and Greek and Greek, ancient, ancient Greek, Koine Greek is a language that's no longer spoken today. So in order to figure out how to translate, um, those words, we go back to other texts that were written at the same time and try to figure out what they were meaning by that word. And there's this one word that's fairly obscure that in the English translations of the new Testament continued to be translated as homosexuality. And it shows up in Corinthians and it shows up in Timothy. And, um, and so uh, based on those readings, so, so now we have a lot more information and context for what that word, um, very likely it meant pedophilia as opposed to um, uh, same gender um, loving relationships like we know them today to be like in same sex marriage. So that didn't, that type of relationship um, was not talked about in, in, in the scripture. Um, that we know of and so most likely it was referring to pedophilia and sexual abuse which we all can um agree is uh outside of a context of love and um would make perfect sense for there to be caution you know cautionary scriptures mm -hmm. about that 